This time talk, and in this video we are looking at an introduction to sequences. So first of all, there's a few terms and things that we need to know before we can start looking at some questions. So firstly, a sequence is simply a list of numbers called terms. And when we get to A level, we start using the notation U1, U2 and UN. And the first term can be just U1, the second term is just U2, and any nth term is just UN. So for example, if you had a 25th term, it would be U25. Sequences are also written like this, they have u n plus 1, and that means that it's the next term afterward. doesn't mean it's the second term, it just means it's the next term after what we have. And then 2 u n plus 5, so the 2 u n is just a term before u n plus 1. So for example, if um, we had 5 as u n, if u n was 5, then that would mean that u n plus 1 would be 2 times 5 plus 5, which is equal to 15, and that's the next term. The final thing to notice is that a sequence is increasing when un plus 1 is more than un, so in other words the term after un is bigger, and it's decreasing when un plus 1 is less than un. But now it's good to look at a few questions involving this. So the next thing to look at is limits, and a sequence will converge to a limit if a sequence is convergent, and this means that it gets closer to L, and is the opposite of divergent. But to find out what L is, you have to replace UN plus 1 and UN with L. So let's look at a question, and this question says find L, so find the limit, when UN plus 1 is equal to 3 fifths UN minus a half. So in order to do this, we're simply going to replace both UN plus 1 with L, and then the UN plus is equal to L. So therefore we have L is equal to 3 fifths L minus a half, and we're using this L as the limit. Therefore, now we just have to rearrange, and that means that we can get all of the L's on one side, so we're taking L minus 3 fifths L is 2 fifths L is equal to minus a half, and then finally we'll do L is equal to minus a half divided by two fifths, which is equal to minus five over four. And that means that this sequence three fifths UN minus a half will converge to minus five over four. So the final question we'll be answering today is a slightly harder one, and it says that un plus 1 is equal to a un plus 7, and we know that u1, to so the first term, is equal to minus 1, and then the third term is equal to 19. And we have to show that a squared minus 7a plus 12 is equal to 0. So it looks quite a weird thing, and it may be hard to know where to start. But to start, what we're going to do is we're going to work out what u2 is. And we know that u2 is going to be equal to, if we put minus 1 here, we know that the first term is minus 1, so that's going to be minus a plus 7. So with u2, we can then sub this back in to find what u3 is, and we know that u3 is equal to 19. So that means that we can just put 19 here, and then we have a that's going to be times by minus a plus 7. And then plus 7 again. Now all we have to do is start rearranging this so we can get it back to this form. And in order to do this, we're going to have 19 is equal to minus a squared. plus 7a and plus 7 and you may be able to notice now that we basically have it there we just have to um, put it all onto one side and we're going to all transfer this all over to that side which means that we're going to finally get a squared plus minus 7a because the set of an a is going to go to a minus and then 19 minus 7 is going to go to 12 plus 12 and that is equal to 0. So the next thing it asks is to work out u4. I'm going to get two answers for this, and that's because we're going to put a squared minus 7a plus 12, and we're going to find out what a is. And that, to do that, we're going to say a minus 4 and a minus 3 is equal to 0. 
So that means that a is equal to 4, which we're going to solve out underneath there. And a is also equal to 3, which we'll solve underneath there. So we'll start off with a is equal to 4. And all we have to do is sub this in. So we have to sub u3 in to this, and we know that it's 4. So 19, this would be 19a plus 7. So we'll say that u4 is equal to 19a plus 7. And we know that a is equal to 4. So that means that u4 is going to be equal to 83. Now, for a is equal to 3, then we're going to have the same thing. We still got that u4 is equal to 19a plus 7. But this time, a is equal to 3. So that means that u4 is going to be equal to 64 instead. So that's a slightly different example of a sequence which you may come across where it gives it in a quadratic. You have to rearrange, and but that is the basis of a sequence. So this video has hopefully taught you the introduction to sequences. Uh, we'll start looking at things like arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences in the following two videos. But for now, see you soon. Bye.